everyone. Today we have a very special guest. Put your hands together for Sojourner Truth. Yo, girl. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about something that's very near and dear to my friend's heart. Abolition. Thank you, Oprah. No problem. My birth name is actually Isabella Baumfrey. I was born into slavery in 1797, right here in New York. And I finally escaped to freedom when I was 30 years old with my daughter, Sophia. Wow. What was life like on the farms? It was terrible, Oprah. Oh my gosh. I was beat and whipped daily, and I was sexually assaulted. My owner was very abusive, and he forced me to marry a man just to have his children as slaves. A man? Oh my god. That sounds awful. No one deserves to be treated like that. Tell us about your life after you escaped, and the beliefs you developed. I went to live with the Van Wagners, and became a Christian. I changed my name to Sojourner Truth and became a Methodist right after that. I decided to preach about abolition and travel around the country. Why'd you change your name? Because I speak the truth. Oh, Alright. Well, I hear you just recently attended the National Women's Rights Convention. How was that? I've been a women's rights activist for a very long time now. Oh. Ain't I a woman? Ain't I a woman? You are. I recently did a speech at the Ohio Women's Right Convention, and I also spoke before the Michigan Legislature <laughs> against capital punishment. We are women. You have achieved so much in your life. You should be proud of yourself. Now, are you all ready to play? Yeah. The game? <laughs> are, the first player has to put a card to their head, the second player has to make them guess who they are. Alright. Here's your card, Sojourner, 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 Sojourner. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright. She can't see what it says. Um, you went to his office on October 29th, 1864. He was accepting to both blacks and whites. Will Smith? No. 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 You, you, you spoke to him about abolition. Does he wear a top hat? Yeah. Mm. Oh! Bob Saget. N no. No. He's tall. Abe Lincoln? Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Yep. Right here. Didn't say nothing. Alright. Okay. He's a man that I met at the Women's Right Convention. Frederick Douglass. <laughs> no. Uh, he was one of my supporters at the time. And uh, uh, he also supported uh, uh, women's rights and abolition. William Lloyd Garrison. Yeah. Woo! Point one, Oprah. There we go. All right. Your last one. Here's one for you, Shibla <laughs> okay. She was sold at an auction with a flock of sheep for $100. Well, I am. No. Close, though. Um, she helped recruit black soldiers for the Union Army and wrote a speech called Ain't I a Woman. Me. It's a Jordan Truth. Yep. You got it. Got it unlocked, girl. Alright, thanks for coming here. Sure, Jordan, blah, 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 truth, blah. Glad to have you. I'm Oprah. That's sure, blah, blah, blah. Now, a commercial from our sponsors. We're 
we're back from that commercial break, and unfortunately, we're gonna have to say goodbye to Sajrana there. Goodbye, Sajrana Blair. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thank you for coming here. But don't worry, you're not going home alone empty handed. You're all getting cows. You get a cow. You get a hundred cows. You get a cow. Baby cow. You get a humpback whale! Humpback whale!